Hello, good evening, how are you? So this is day 12 of my 100 days and 100 tips in 100 days. For those who don't know me, I'm Sabine, I'm a marketing coach and I help professional women to create a business that they love and that allows them to, to live and work anywhere in the world. So today I'm going to be talking about website and first impression. Um, a couple of days ago I mentioned that People, the visitors to your website um, have a very little time to get the first impression of your website. So th those, what you have on your website is very important to give, the, give out the right message. So today I invite you to do a little test. It's called the five second test. And it is to invite someone to have a look at your website for five seconds. And it's better to use someone that doesn't know much about what you do. Um, or what your what your services are and to ask them what do they think about not in terms of um, aesthetic what they think about your website but what do they think it is what you do and do they understand um, what is your service what do you offer um, what is your value proposition proposition what is what you do so um, and that is really it's very quick and it's very easy because you'll get um, instantly the answer and uh, if you realize that that person needs more than five seconds then you you will need to rethink about your your home page on your website um, one of the things a um, couple of things I'm gonna give you as tips to improve your first impression on your website and the first one is actually on the top of your website, on the first part, um, you will need to have um, a short sentence explaining what you do and who do you work with. So it could be, for instance, a canton for um, charities, it could be a um, Spanish translator for medical sector or for automotive sector or whatever that you do, and to be able to explain in a few words what you do and who you work with. Um, so that, that's something that's very important, is very often overlooked. So have a look at your website and see if you have something on top that shows, um, that explain what you do. Um, the second um, point that is really important is maybe to have less information on the first and the top part of your website. So um, have a look at your website and see if if there's too much information on the top part, use all the space that you can that you need. Um, so that kind of leads into my set my third point is use more space to explain what you do. Um, so you want a, a very simple message on top, and then if you do need to explain what you do, use all the space below. So people are used to scroll down and they don't mind having to go. It's much easier for the reader to have a lot of white space, separations between you know different points that you want to um, to explain on your website, on your homepage. And the last point to improve your first impression is also to add call to action. So I mentioned yesterday, um, a couple of days ago, I mentioned calls to action which are those um, very important um, phrases that you want to add in different parts of your website and that will invite people to do something. So you invite them to click a button, you invite them to fill in a form, you invite them to read further, you invite them to get in touch with you, you invite them to um, to follow you on social on social media, you want them to um, download um, a document that you have on your website. What if you can have a lot of different things? You can ask people to do a lot of different things, but those those very important call to action are what will make the visitor stay longer. Um, either on your website or to follow you for, for uh, and to be able to have more information about you at another time. So those are very important. Um, so yes, I invite you to do the five second test uh, on your website. And if you want to have um, me to have a look at your website, do not hesitate to take on um, one of my offers that I have on my website, which is a free review of your, of your website. 
and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for more tips on living abroad and um, online and online marketing and digital marketing. Bye bye.